How should you clean the inside of your ears? Let's go. The good news is that in most cases, you really shouldn't have to clean the inside of your ears. Your ears actually have a self-cleaning mechanism where the epithelial cells that line the ear canal slough off, taking with them excess earwax and debris. And this actually works pretty well to keep the ear canals clean. But if we start messing around with this, like using Q-tips to do what we think we're doing, cleaning the inside of the ears, what happens is you actually end up pushing the earwax and dirt and debris in the ear. And it can get to the point where it actually blocks this self-cleaning mechanism from working. So instead of having the cells slough off and end up leaving the ear, they just get kind of stuck behind this big ball of earwax. We call this impacted cerumen, cerumen impaction. And uh, then you can end up with the blockage of the ear canal. So I'm not proud of it, but this actually has happened to me on numerous occasions. Back when I was in high school and, and college, I, I loved these Q-tips. I would always try to clean the inside of my ears using these Q-tips. And I would see a little bit of wax on there, so I think I was doing something good. But eventually, um, I ended up with, yeah, sure enough, cerum uh, cerumen impaction in my ear. So I had to see, and, and I didn't even know about this until I saw my family practice doctor and uh, he said, you know, I can't even, when I try to look in your ear using this, uh, this uh, otoscope, I can't, can't really see your tympanic membrane or your eardrum. And so he recommended that I take some eardrops. They're the Debrox uh, eardrops to soften up the earwax. And then a week later, I went back into clinic and the nursing staff actually flushed out my ear to clean out all that excess wax. And so that happened, um, I think, yeah, I was like back in college at that time. So I was probably in my early 20s. Um, but did I learn my lesson? Oh, no, I did not. In fact, I continued with the Q-tips. And uh, this went on even in medical school, where the same thing, trying to clean out my ears. And uh, sure enough, during um, my uh, in medical school, where they teach you how to do the physical exam, what you do is you take your tools and you actually practice on each other. And so my classmate who was looking at my ears saw the same thing that uh, he really couldn't see my eardrums because there was so much wax in the way. It's a little embarrassing to be honest with you. But you know, then I realized I probably had to do the same thing. But at this time I was super busy in school. I never really got around to it and I just sort of forgot about it for years and years and years. And eventually I thought, you know, I really should do something about this. So I got the ear softening drops myself and I didn't actually see my primary care doctor. I thought it's something that I could try to just manage on my own. And so I, uh, I ended up buying one of those things. It's in fact, I think I'll have it here. Yeah. Yeah. It's this, this thing. And I'm not going to link the product description because it's not something that I recommend for people to get. Uh, but what it is, is I uh, open it upside down. It's like a little light that has a, um, that you can have the, put these little attachments to, especially it's probably too small to see, but there's a little snare, a little scooper that goes on the end of the light and it has a camera, a small camera in this links to the phone. So when you put it in your ear, you can look inside and presumably see what you're doing to scrape out the wax as opposed to just pushing it all deeper which is what happens when you try to use a Q-tip. And so there's some obvious dangers with this, right? Uh, and, and I'll tell you what I experienced with it is I, I went in, I could see the wax and I tried to scoop some of it out, wasn't really having much luck. So then I pushed it in deeper and then I felt a little pop and there was some discomfort involved. And I thought, oh my goodness, I just obliterated my tympanic membrane or my eardrum. This is terrible. No wonder this stuff is not really recommended by in, in mainstream medicine. Uh, uh, so I was really worried, but then I adjusted the camera a little bit. And then sure enough, I could see that just millimeters in front of this thing was my eardrum. It appeared to be intact. And so what actually happened is I burst through a big little ball of wax and that was the pop that I felt, but it could have easily been my eardrum. In fact, if I would have moved it just a tiny bit more, I could have easily damaged my eardrum. And, you know, this is somebody who at that time, right, I've, I've already had a lot of experience, uh, experience using an otoscope. And in spite of that, I still, I think, 
really risked uh, damaging my eardrum. And so for this reason, it's not recommended, you know, really for most people to use these. And I've even heard horror stories about the little snares, the attachments becoming dislodged and then getting stuck deep within the ear. People have to go to the emergency department. So really, you're better off um, just seeing a, using the eardrops to soften up the earwax and then going into the doctor's office to get that all cleared out. But the best thing is to just allow the body's normal self-cleaning uh, cleaning mechanism to work and don't give in to the temptation to, to try to clean your ears with Q-tips and end up just pushing the wax further in, causing cerumen impaction. So in summary, if you ask most doctors about what sort of things should I stick in my ear to clean my ears, the response you're going to get is you really shouldn't stick anything smaller than your elbow into your ear not only to avoid causing damage especially to the eardrum but also because you don't want to push the wax in further just leading to uh, earwax impaction okay i hope you found this video to be helpful if you like medical content like this feel free to hit the subscribe button there or check out another video right here and i'll see you guys next time